welcome to America. Today I'm going to be doing a little introduction and or review on this dump trailer behind me. This is my brother's. It is a Big Tex. I believe the model is a 14 LD. That means it's a 14,000 pound GVW, two 7,000 pound axles. Um, so I just want to walk around, show you a couple things I like about it, didn't like about it. These dump trailers have become really popular in the last five or 10 years. Um, everybody's got them. There's a lot of people out there making kind of crappy ones. Um, the company I work for, I bought a Kaufman 16 foot dump trailer and kind of going to compare this one behind me to that one that I ordered and bought new. Um, there was some stuff on that I didn't like and there's some stuff on this one that I do like. So let's get into it um, and I will show you. So for starters, this is a 14,000 pound dump trailer. It's 12 foot long. Um, 12 foot is a decent size. It's kind of unha unhandy because if you want to haul anything big other than mulch and gravel, it's a little too small. But if you get into like a 16 foot or bigger, um, then you have problems with it's too easy to overload. Um, on that same topic, on this one here, when my brother bought this, I thought the sides were a little bit short. They're only 20 inches tall, um, which seems kind of low, but I do like the idea of that for if you were going to be hauling a skid steer or something to get in and out to um, to tie it down, that would be nice. And also, both he and I have uh, little Kubota loader tractors, and so if you were going to be loading mulch or firewood or whatever, um, I guess I should mention the main things he bought this for were to haul firewood, um, to his house so that he can split it when people have trees go down and to move his Kubota tractor. So I think for his purposes, this is perfect. Um, but back to that, I actually like these smaller sides because these trailers are not that heavy duty. So if you were gonna haul any type of dirt, especially wet dirt or gravel or tore out concrete from a patio, if these sides were any higher and even at this height, you're gonna overload it like right now. Um, even if you were gonna fill this thing full with mulch, um, that probably wouldn't be a very full load, but it does have on here the stake pockets. So you could um, put a two by four in here and make, you know, two by twelves or whatever to make it taller if you did want to do that. But I like the low sides. It's easier to load and it's easier to get in and out of. Um, also, as far as getting in and out of, one of the things our Kaufman trailer at work doesn't have, it has these nice steps. There's one of them right here and then there's another one on the front um, right here. Um, so it's easy to get in and out because it's a real pain in the arse to climb up and over when you got to tie, chain down a trailer or whatever else you're hauling if it's not gravel, sand, etc. Um, on the topic of load securement at the front, this one's got this nice roll on tarp. It's got a crank on it so you can run it all the way out. It hooks on the back side and then you can um, snug it down. So I'm a fan of that. Um, keeps the stuff in. Um, also load securement, there is four D-rings in here. Um, there's two in the front on each corner. Over there. Well, there we go. In that corner. Um, and then there's two in the back. The ones in the front, I'm not really a fan of because they're up kind of high. I would rather have them down low for tying things down because when you're hauling a skid steer or a machine or something like that, you want to pull it down to the trailer to secure it. But Maybe they have a reason they put them up here, um, but when in Rome. Um, so 12 foot long, 20 inches tall. It's got this, it's got the steps, uh, 7,000 pound axles. When he bought it, I wasn't really a fan of the black rims, but in hindsight, that probably would be nice because they will be easy to touch up if they start to rust and if they get brake dust on it, you won't notice. Um, so we'll see that. Um, it's got the tailgate on the back is only what you might call the barn style doors. So it swings open. It doesn't tip like a dump truck tailgate, which at first um, when I used it, I thought that was kind of a bummer, but nobody ever, at least in my experience using the dump trailer at work, almost never used that function. So it's one more thing to keep lubed up and working and that might bend. Um, it's got these nice loops for when it is open. It hooks right on these hooks to hold the gates open so when it dumps it doesn't shut. Um, what else we got? Back up to the front. There's a couple things on this trailer that I really liked and I thought were handy. I've never seen before but I was like, hey, good job there, Big Tex. Um, so where the safety chains 
which these are heavy. These are 3 8 um, grade 70 transport chains. That's nice. Um, but there's these loops underneath the trailer frame. So when you're not, don't have it hooked to your trailer, you can hook those to it. Um, and uh, there is a similar function on the toolbox that holds this toolbox has got the battery and the pump and the control for the dumping apparatus. Um, and it's got this notch in here so you can put the trailer plug lights in there so that it's out of the weather. And I think that's sharp. Nothing I hate more in my history of working construction and pulling trailers. Some other guy unhooked it in the winter, left those on the ground and they freeze to the ground or they get mud in them and then your trailer lights corrode and don't work or these things, these safety chains down here get tore off, etc. cetera. Um, another thing I like is this breakaway cable. This is the emergency brakes in case it comes unhooked, in case those safety chains and your primary coupler fail. This is like a bungee cord stretcher deal because usually they make these way too long and you got to tie up all the slack. But this being like this, like uh, kind of like a janitor's key ring or something, um, it keeps... Uh, just kind of keeps it tight and that way when you're not using it you don't really have to hang it up it just stays right there and it keeps it neat and tidy um, this one's got a two and five sixteenths ball um, typically in other trailers that I've bought for work and that I've used I've been more of a fan of the pinnel style just because they're heavier weight rating but again this is a smaller heavy-duty trailer um, that's plenty heavy and also being that it's a ball hitch instead of a pinnel It's gonna be a lot tighter. There's less slop. It rides better, etc. Um, this is kind of more of like a three-quarter ton and down um, Setup my brother's got an f-150 that he pulls it with and it handles it pretty well. So I think that's great That's better. Um, and I'm kind of trying to change my views on things like that um, The only two things that I really don't like or would change about this trailer are the jack, to me, compared to the Kaufman trailers that I've bought in the past, this is quite a bit smaller. Um, I don't think he'll have a problem with it, but in the past, our guys would always pick them up and move them with a skid steer or with a wheel loader or something. And that heavier jack, even though it didn't need to be that heavy, put up to that abuse. Um, this one works. Um, I hooked and unhooked with it, no problem. Um, and uh, it was fine. But I would have a bigger jack, and I would like those tie down points in the front to be down all the way at the bottom maybe have some in the middle so you don't have to stretch the chain so far when you're tying something down but again then that's another spot for stuff to get caught up on when you're dumping it kind of depends on what you're using it for most um, so those are my thoughts and uh, ideas on this big tex 14 ld um, pretty happy with this trailer i'm probably going to borrow it again um, i'm getting ready to take it back to my brother's house now um, and, uh, if you're in the market for a dump trailer, um, give it a look and see, uh, nothing worse than buying a piece of crap, especially when you spend a lot of money on something like a trailer and then regretting it later. Um, I don't know what he paid for this. If I can find out, maybe I'll post that right here. He bought it a year or so ago. The prices of trailers and everything else right now are super crazy. If you can even buy one. Um, so I'm still next. <laughs> ah. Until next time, stay American and uh, pull trailers. Hello everybody and welcome to America. Today I'm going to do a quick review, walk around high points and low points of this Big Tex 14,000 pound dump trailer. Uh, this is not my trailer. I did not buy it. Uh, this is my brother's. I borrowed it. Um, got a little bit of experience with these things they're super handy um, they've really become popular in the last five or ten years um, I borrowed his there's a couple things I really like about it a couple things I would maybe change actually really only one maybe two things I would change so let's get into it um, so first off we've got uh, it's a dump trailer 12 foot <clears throat> All right, almost forgot. There's two more things that I liked about this trailer. One compared to the Kaufman that I bought at work and one compared to some of the other ones that I've seen. One is I like the way these ramps are stored. This is how our trailer at work was. 
um, they're stored underneath. I've seen some of these where they have the ramps where they kind of like get strapped or latched or something onto the side of the trailer. I don't like that. It looks kind of sketchy. Um, gets in the way of stuff. Um, by having these stowed underneath like this in these channels, it's just out of the way and they're secure that way. The other thing I really like is this comes complete with a, uh, a built-in charger for the battery. So there's a 12 volt deep cycle battery in here and that's the electric that runs the hydraulic pump to make it dump. When you don't pull this a lot, it's supposed to be wired to charge off of your truck from um, either off of the running lights or the auxiliary uh, wire. Some trucks are not set up from the factory or if you have an older truck, it won't work that way. Um, so you're going to dump it so many times and the battery is going to run dead. This has a charger built in with a 110 volt um, outlet on here, a male outlet, so you can run an extension cord from your garage or wherever, plug this in, and it will automatically charge this battery so that it will be good. So if you're pulling it, you're going to park it for the night, you can plug it in and you know it's good tomorrow. You don't have to worry about in the event of, we bought that trailer at work and it was supposed to be plugged, wired to charge off your truck and either our trucks weren't wired the right way or the trailer wasn't wired the right way. Um, and it didn't charge the battery. So every couple times we'd use it, we'd have to charge the battery until I rewired it and fixed it. Um, but that was a hassle because then you got to get an actual battery charger, run an extension cord, blah, 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 blah. One more thing. Um, so I think that's handy. It's good. It's thinking for the future. Um, I'm sure it costs more money to have it that way. But um, when your trailer doesn't work, you probably will be pretty pissed. Um, so that's what I got for now. Uh, if I come up with anything else, I will share that with you. Um, if you have any questions, post them below. Uh, subscribe to the channel and you'll catch up on some other stuff. Uh, until next time, stay American and uh, pull trailers.